We are super excited about our first live science with Sarah this morning. Yes, Sarah Spivey and David Sears are out at Wilshire Elementary School, which is north of Fort Sam Houston and Ritterman Road. Good morning, guys. What kind of experiment are you doing out there today? Hey, good morning. This experiment is so fun. We're here with the awesome third graders of Wilshire Elementary. Say hey, guys. Okay. And today, my assistant David and I, with our goggles on, we... I, well, yes, okay, it's true. <laughs> we are going to make a cloud in a jar using four simple materials. Here are those materials. A mason jar, hot water, hairspray, and ice. That's it. So before these awesome third graders get to do the experiment themselves, we're going to show them how it's done. David, right. hot water in the mason jar till about right here. About right there? Yep. Oh, that's hot. I know, it's hot, it's hot water. So this is something too, safety-wise, you're gonna wanna do this with a, 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 a an adult supervision. That's good, David. Leak yep, watch your leaks. And then do not touch the bottom once it's there because that's pretty hot. Okay, David, next thing I want you to do is take some hairspray. Uh oh what's gonna happen? Spritz it in there. Spritz and then spray it in there for like two <laughs> seconds. And then quickly cover, quickly cover up the lid it with the lid. Okay. <laughs> Great job, David. And then what we're going to do is we're going to take some ice cubes and put them on the top here of the mason jar. And the ice cubes are going to cause the steam to condense on the hairspray. And we're seeing a cloud. You guys see how the cloud is forming in the middle there? You see how it looks all foggy in there? And then this is my favorite part. Okay. Once you've waited for a while, David, I want you to take off the top of the lid. Again, do not touch the bottom because it's hot. And then watch as the cloud flies out of that mason jar. Isn't that awesome? Yes. Now, the wonderful students here at Wilshire Elementary, they made a hypothesis on whether or not you can actually feel a cloud. So we're going to, when we come back, these awesome kids are going to do the experiment themselves. First, I want to show you how this works real quick. Again, you got the hot water, okay? The hot water produces steam. In our atmosphere, there's water vapor everywhere. The hairspray uh, acts as, as something that the water can condense onto. And then the ice cools the air right at the top, and it causes the water vapor to condense onto the hairspray particles. And that's what makes a what? Wow! Oh, guys, so are y'all pumped to do this? Yeah! Okay, awesome. Well, coming up, we're going to be doing this experiment right here at Wilshire Elementary. We'll be back after this. Hey, guys, we are back at Wilshire Elementary. The bell is going off right now. <laughs> but uh, here in the third grade class, we're going to make a cloud with four simple steps. What's step one? Water. Water. What's step two? Hairspray. Hairspray. What's step three? Lid. Put the lid on. And what's step four? Ice. Okay. And what are we not going to do? Touch the bottom of the glass when the hot water goes in. So your teachers are going to help. They're going to put some hot water here in. Watch out. In there. All right. They're going to fill it up to about right there. That's great. Perfect. Okay. Hairspray. So what's going on right there? That thing. A cloud, it's yeah. A cloud is cloud. condensing. Not a cloud. Okay. okay, now take the ice off. Let's see what happens. Do you want to take off the ice and see what happens? Wow. Now feel it on the top. What do you think? It feels so warm. It feels so warm. Warm. It feels like a worm? Yeah. Okay, well. All right, here we go. Go. Nice. 
Put your hand over it. You're all right. It's okay. You can do it. This feels warm. Does it feel warm? Yes. Yeah. All right. Let's see over here. Let's see it. When you take off the lid, what happens? Look at that. What do you think? Look at the color. Now blow a little bit into it. Whoa, guys. What do you, what do you think about that? It was so awesome. Was it awesome? Yeah. Hey, well, no, you got it. Yeah, yeah. That was so amazing. What was the most amazing part about it? Um, the smoke, like we watch it, it's like what for me out. I love this experiment. That was so a great cool. experiment, huh? Yeah. So you remember the hypothesis was whether or not we would get steam out of there, and what happened? Um, it forms to the smoke, and me and my partner feel it. We can feel it. That's great stuff. All right, so that means it all cooled off, right, because the steam is kind of gone, right? I smell I tell you what, I got some smart third graders in here. We also learned... We'll do it again? Do we have more water? We also learned about hypotheses, right? Hypotheses, right? So what was your guess before? What was your guess before to feel a cloud? I can't. I ate it. I ate the cloud. Are you going to get anything? And this is a great experiment. Not only can you do it once, but as long as you have a good supply of hot water, as long as you have a decent amount of hairspray and some ice, you can do it more than once. And, and something that I like to do, too, is have the kids make a hypothesis before what they think a cloud is going to feel like, and then afterwards they get to see if their hypothesis is right or not. So it's a great way to learn the scientific method as well. All you got to do is search for Science uh, with Sarah at ksat.com, and you'll see this and more experiments. And reach out to us, Science with Sarah at ksat.com, if you want to come out to uh, if you want us to come out to your school. All right, you guys did a fantastic job. So once again, look at the camera and wave to everybody at home. Yeah. 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 Fantastic. Mission accomplished. Mission accomplished. Sarah, David, thank you very much. Live out there at Wilshire Elementary School with a bunch of very enthusiastic third graders. Great way to spend a Wednesday morning, Yeah, right? I love the enthusiasm. You know they're going to take that with them home. They're going to probably want to try it at home as well. Well, I know Sarah would like to hear